round 18 of the 2025 f1 season we're coming off of the worst the worst race weekend i think haas has had probably since season two if i'm being honest like we had some stinkers like some individual stinkers like over the course of like up to this point but man that was cool oh, that was really bad it was super bad but we make up for it this weekend in japan of all places but we start where we always start should they be available in development points apparently mick needs more in the control mick is now an 82. So apparently that was that here's his contract by the way the remaining is two months it would only cost us less than 300,000 to uh, break that no reason just saying pierre you also in control 88 for pierre apparently this was all they were missing apparently here's pierre's contract by the way for anyone who is curious just curious no other reason just curious they also had one sure let's make it a control party and just do it all of that our chassis research is completed this is actually huge we are immediately going back in and starting another one out of being about a boom 520k out the door only 10 milli it's not too bad i mean here's the problem a difficult race you could say that patrick you could definitely say that other than that any staff dev points we do let's go with let's go with high speed downforce race engineer we're gonna go with pit crew management make sure that the pit crews on top of it all our tire changes are up to 80 everything else is horrific so we will just continue to ignore and we will move forward probably all the way to uh, the practice sessions here let's go to race prep all right we're gonna have to be we're gonna use this as an opportunity for the first time in a long time be extra careful in what we do two into q2 should be should happen we should get two in the top eight should finished position we're gonna go two in the top eight as well try and make it quick got to make up some of this lost money that we did we're gonna go two in the top 10 for the rest of the season this is the one risk that we're gonna take in this race prep we're gonna we're gonna hope that we can be in the top basically consistently into q3 the rest of the season we're gonna try worst case scenario that's losses for the income sheet and so we don't have to report it on our taxes other than that let's go ahead and head to japan for the race weekend supposedly this is when the track rubber is going to be at its like highest nobody move thank you pierre is going to get a clean lap mick also is going to get a clean lap should be good to go bang pierre comes up crosses the line who crashed both us mud cross line bang bout three bout oh he's out that's one merc out of this one show it to me There's been a crash. i wish to see like it a let's see what happened there yeah mexico's now got that long opening straight that a new uh a new pu will be good for us oh bout three it's they definitely james why not why why not why why not it's the same set of tires i don't i mean realistically we only need to be four four cars and that's nothing like. kevin magnuson on in, in top of the session by the way flying improves improves the rain has stopped oh pierre then immediately bangs in Dude, the dog is, it's so bad. It really is, it's so bad. Mick, P15, by the way. That was, that was a bit of a clincher there for a moment. I mean, realistically, we can go out on another set. Oh, oh, oh. 
I thought I did the thing to Pierre again. I'm not gonna lie. I thought I did the thing to Pierre. I did not. I'm not super worried about Q2. We're already through. Bang, bang. Mick going faster than the Claire in the mud. All right, we will hop on board with Mick because I feel like I watch Pierre like way too often. Mick Schumacher. Welcome to your Kotag moment. Let's see if Mick can put it on the front row. Wouldn't that be wild? All over Sapin, obviously it's probably not actually two seconds off of Pierre here. So likely he'll put up a fight over any of us. I wonder who's first, either Leclerc or Verstappen. We'll find out right now. Leclerc does not improve. Verstappen coming down 130R. Coming up to the final chicane. I'm more focused on Verstappen's lap than I am either of our current drivers. Mick does not approve for a sector. That's not, I hate to say. Pierre Gasly, pole position. Can Mick get ahead of Verstappen? I doubt it. Can he anyway? Yes. Let's go, Mick. Faster than Verstappen. Pierre Gasly, pole position in a car that hasn't seen an upgrade in five races or more. Probably more. Puts it on pole. All right, plan. Soft, soft, medium for Mick. Soft, medium, soft for the gas man. Up a lap of fuel on both. It'll be a lot of fun. Safety cars will cause havoc, but they usually do anyway. But that's the plan. We're gonna nail it. Race day. Race day is here. Let's have a good. I hope I'm not tempting let's have a good here, race. There are quite a few clouds After everything that we went through in Singapore, we deserve to have a nice, good race. And there we have Pierre Gasly. All right, can we all agree that we'll just have a nice, good, clean it's race? A Japanese Grand Prix. In Japanese Grand Prix, that's a lot of softs. A lot of softs. And it's lights out. Anybody not on and softs? Everybody on softs. Max is gonna have that inside. Leclerc making a big old dive bomb down the inside of the pit wall there. They're gonna go. Si they're gonna be. They're gonna be side by side, literally the entire first sector, plus some. Oh, Pierre goes, moves forward. Let's go. Is that a new Whoa, position Mick perhaps? diving down the inside of Verstappen. Oh my goodness, what a move. Show it to me. Show it to me. Here's the replay. Oh wait, that was Leclerc? Watch this. Am I crazy? There's I am crazy. That was not Verstappen. He dives down the inside of Leclerc. Oh, the moves. Absolute moves on that man. Flying. Oh, Leclerc. Oh, it's again. Wrong. Wrong screen. Haas 1 2 at the end of a lap one. Of course, you gotta drop out. You gotta work tomorrow. We'll be. <laughs> I totally understand. Go and get some sleep. We're the goal is on Friday, if it works out, we're gonna try and finish season four. We may, yeah, I think the goal is that we're gonna try and finish season four and wrap it up. Um, then, so it'd be nice and long, a nice long stream on Friday to finish up season four and get that all wrapped up and done and good to go. But go get some sleep. I'll be here same time Friday, like always. And we'll try and finish season four and have some fun. But thank you so much for stopping by British. See you on Friday, hopefully. Smile. DRS enabled. We continue on being nice and pacey. I think the goal here, if we could break DRS to Leclerc, that's the absolute dream. The problem is I think we would have to like roast our tires and stuff to do so and I don't want to. Our, we have the tire advantage and we got to think about the long term. And by that of course I mean us immediately break DRS and leave them in the dust. Oh he does not get DRS. What a fool.
Crash into turn one. Someone running wide into turn one. Thoughts? Signs? Magnuson. Let's have a look. Now let's watch this. The Alpha Romeo. Yeah, Kevin runs wide going into turn two. They're completely off the racing line. Completely off the racing line. Uh oh. Push on, my young lads. Push on. Hey, Haas 1 2 is beautiful, all the same. Ugh. Take some notes. Let's figure out what we're looking at. Nick will just successfully defend the attack from Pierre going into turn one. We extend the gap behind to Verstappen by about a tenth ish. That's good to know. Verstappen and Leclerc fighting for P3 and 4 is beautiful. Lando is still there. The next non DRS is Kevin Magnuson down in P7, probably from him running wide. Carlos Sainz down there in P20 is odd to see. But other than that. Maloney doesn't have DRS to stroll, and Sonoda does not have DRS to Joe. Other than that, everyone else is still kind of bunched together. We were, we managed to put in a couple of tents on the Red Bulls on that on that lap. Now Gazman will pull forward and hopefully drag Mick along with him. Love to see it. Love to see it. So far, so good for us on this front. Although Leclerc drops one to Norris, who's now out. Why can't we have nice things? Why can't we have nice things, Pierre? Why can't we have nice things? It's just Spoon. Like, why are you running that wide into Spoon? Now, Pierre finds himself down in P3, now chasing Verstappen. Red Bull moves up. He's now back in P2, but now he invites Verstappen and Norris and Leclerc and Ricardo all back into the fight, which we had successfully avoided for a handful of laps so far. The good news is Mick has a lot of clean air now, which should help him on his way. But now we have to worry about Pierre and being attacked. So you had a streamer doing an Aston Martin save in season six. You had Ricardo and Duin as his drivers. That, that sounds like a pretty solid. Uh, that sounds like a pretty solid lineup, if I do say so myself. You know, Duin has been dragging that Williams up pretty far this season i think we're i mean i think we have our sights set on lando regardless but doing looks like he's got the juice you know he looks like he's right there he's competing for championships for three seasons i mean yeah i would be i would love to see what doing's contract looks like and just keep an eye on him you know maybe think about him next for after pierre if if we do end up going the lando route i think that makes a lot of sense for the next contract because doing did just move to williams this season i'm pretty sure seb won in season four before he retires then ricardo won last season season five nice Pass with an overtake there. this feels like one of those games like type of games where as soon as you um you start becoming a championship contender like every year like it's relatively easy to keep it going but he replaced seb with daniel basically yeah that makes sense honestly i'm kind of hoping that we can replace mick with lando and then have a two-way battle at the top for a title with especially it, it would be pierre it would be lando it would be max it would be leclerc like all of those people in equal ish machi machinery uh, battling it out at the top. 
I think that can make for a fun season. I've been doing since like season two till now. That's nice. What's his, um, if you know off the top of your head, what's his um, development is like? I'm assuming it's high or fast or whatever. Like the good development cycle is. I'd be curious to know. All right, we're moving, moving forward, moving forward. We did put Mick on the the soft, soft medium. That's what that's 16 laps, and then 33, 17 laps. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. At this point, we are kind of honestly, we're kind of just vibing at this point we're charging up pierre's ers looks like a alpha tire maloney probably running wide or spinning lock up on the track. maloney locking up makes sense all right pierre you're good to go everyone else behind is still two point two and a half seconds back to us including leclerc which is good for us. I mean, right now, Pierre is chasing Max, who's chasing Mick, but with Leclerc, you know, two and a quarter seconds back, that's good for us in the long run. Now in season six, it's total domination. It's only Ricardo and doing won all races. First 15 rounds he did. Yeah, it, it definitely feels like it's uh, one of these, those types of games where once you get really good, like it's hard to kind of fall off unless you go like crazy out there. But that's cool though i mean that's kind of what we're hoping for our car this in this season has been really good so i'm hoping that we'll be able to do something similar i'll see you going 18 laps makes sense We've done it. Kevin in the bin. Just had a crash on the track. Kevin Magnuson. Kevin Why Bing Bin Misson. Locks up. Goes straight. Goes straight at Spoon. That uh, that'll do it. There is no safety car, so there is that. And it looks like we're stepping backed out of the move because of the yellow so lovely it's ricardo 322 versus doing 310 wow see that's what i'm looking for i like mick has never been in a fight with pierre like he just does not have the pace that pierre does in the same car so i'm hoping that if we get lando we'll have something closer to that Right away, Pierre versus Lando versus Verstappen versus yeah, probably just those three at the top for the dub, you know. This is the only time he had his drivers battle against each other in the championship. That's interesting. That's very fun. No boxing yet. Come on, Mick. Let's keep that gap up. Double box at the end of the next lap. Do it made errors in a race which cost him previously. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, even, yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense because he's still a young driver. So he's probably prone to uh, making a lot of mistakes because the development like rate on this game doesn't feel right. Like, it feels like the development rate on this game is not enough. Is 
That's a new race position for Haas. Oh, yes. Yeah, some beautiful moves. I don't know if anyone saw that. I slowed Mick down so much that I gave Pierre DRS. Let's go. That was big, the biggest of brains that I've ever had. And now they both have a DRS and they're gone. Goodbye. And with that DRS and clean air for Stappy, gone. Ooh. Season five, Tully was doing his worst season, making errors on his own, very unlucky with rivals crashing into him. Ooh. Yeah, that sounds like, uh. That sounds like an unlucky. An unlucky season, to say the least. I've been fortunate not to have very many incidents of people crashing into me, thankfully. But I'm sure that's extremely frustrating. All right, make back into P8s on those softs. Pierre's still flying, really don't want to give her. I'm imagining Verstappen also boxing this lap, if I had to guess. We want to, you know, continue to push on as hard as we can, making up that gap. Beautiful into the box. Verstappen also pitting. He likely overtakes us here because our pit crew is horrific. Oh, he doesn't. Let's go. We hold position. We definitely lost time to him, but... Oh, we, we successfully... Mick successfully undercuts us by a handful of laps. That's not exactly how that works, but that's what happened. And... We put Carlos in between Pierre and... Verstappen. Lovely stuff. Leclerc up there at the front has not boxed though, and his tires are probably falling off a cliff at this point. He is into the box. Not shocking. Russell not boxing. Continuing on for another lap. Fascinating. Verstappen gets by signs. Nothing too shocking there. And now it is once again Mick and Pierre battling each other for the net lead in Japan. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. What a good round of stops. We got really lucky on timing of all of that. Pitting on the same lap as Max. Coming out directly next to Mick and Carlos, causing Verstappen to lose two seconds. And now, I would imagine George Russell boxes this lap, by it, I'm assuming. He does not. What a mad lad. All right, now I want to try and use Pierre to drag Mick along so Mick can save a little bit of tires and have the tire delta at the end of this stand. It looks like a lot of people went to... Actually, it looks like actually a good mix between the soft, medium, soft, and the soft, uh, soft, medium. Interesting. George Russell still not boxing. We are catching him at an alarming rate. He's is he he looks like he's doing the one stop, the soft medium, at this rate. 
Which is going to be very interesting, considering the timing of everything. I mean, everyone is so close enough where he's still going to lose a bunch of positions, especially if he continues to uh, fall behind like this. Goodbye. Pass with an overtake. All right, fine. Oh, Verstappen is definitely catching Mick now, thanks to him sitting behind George. All right, we got a good lap of saving thank you for finally getting by him please continue pushing it's the team of driver lineup for season six Aston, ricardo doing red bull for staff and signs fascinating mercedes Ocon, and norris i've seen that for our russell leclerc interesting for male magnus and joe i think everyone's seen that one alpine gasly stroll fascinating McLaren Perez and Giovinazzi. Interesting. Tauri Botas and Albon. Interesting. And Williams, Schumacher, Piastri, Haas, Sonoda, Latifi. Latifi! Still in Formula One. Fascinating, actually. See the range on constructor standings from season five. Makes sense. Latifi still in F1. Fascinating, actually. I had him drop out after season two. Two or three. I can't remember exactly. Not that it really mattered in the grand scheme of things, but it is what it is. What? A, that's so interesting. I guess Russell's mediums now. Yeah. Russell going to the end. Will be interesting to see how that goes for him. For us, I mean, we're kind of just. We're kind of surviving. Verstappen is catching Mick, which is a shame, really. Although Verstappen is on the mediums. Well, realistically, we should, we should have had the pace, but I think we lost a lot of momentum in the race when we got caught behind George Russell. But Verstappen likely closes the door here. He is within a second. Oh, did someone run wide he is there? behind he is behind Mick likely not for much Sounds longer like spin. stroll spinning strolling himself for Sapa moves past Mick not too you know nothing too shocking Red there Mick should be able to do enough to stay with him Someone's run wide. and cause him some issue in Pierre with his clean air and good tires should be able to do enough. Mick, I'm hoping can do enough to kind of just hound Verstappen. It's kind of all I really want slash need him to do. Nothing else too crazy, really. Oh, we Jesus, Mick. Jesus, Mick. I put you on light tires for one second. I put you on light tires for one second, and that's... Oof. So season six is Ricardo gone and the stream needs to find another driver to replace them. Fair. Yeah, that's kind of why I'm staying away from like the likes of Daniel and those older drivers just because. the box come out behind seb come out behind seb thank you still in the points vibing chilling uh, pierre where you at four seconds four seconds between him and verstappi i think we're definitely going to go a lap long on this to the point where I'm actually going to do that. Really push it an extra lap if we can. Yeah. 
Let's see if Pierre can extend this gap. Our drivers, Ricardo, Duin, Verstappen, Sainz, Leclerc, Russell, Gasly, Norris, Arcon, Perez, Stroll, Giovinazzi, Bottas, Albon, Pastry, K-Mag, Mick, Joe, Sonoda, and Latifi. <laughs> Zero. That's unfortunate. I feel like Yuki got done pretty dirty in this game. Like, really dirty. I don't think he's as bad as the game kind of makes him out to be based on his ratings, but... Yeah, he's... <laughs> 310 doing to 161 for every step. That's about as large a gap as I think I've ever seen in my life. That's crazy. That's quite the gap. Make Schumacher fast this lap. Love to see it. Now we're kind of just waiting for Pierre's pit stop at this rate. So I think we can speed this up a little bit. As we'll, we'll be bringing him in at the end of the next lap. More than likely. All right, we're stepping in the box. One new fastest lap, Mick Schumacher. Let's go. TV pod offset. Alpha were third in the constructors in season five and they were the slowest car, but luckily lucky to be ninth because the magazine's ninth place in the season opener. Nice. Dude, K Mag's really good at season openers. Alright, Pierre in the box. And Mick is quite a ways away. Car in the wall. No safety car. Don't do this to me. Single yellow? Yeah, okay. Arcon in Let's the bin. The replay. Okay, here's the Ferrari. From then on, Alpha didn't score points from our two to three. Yeah, that happens. Arcon locking up, going into and boom. Very, and the hairpin, that's not spoon, that's the hairpin. Uh Ferrari having an absolute nightmare season and it only gets worse. Oh, Pierre comes out well clear of Mick. Well clear. Oh. Nice. Four seconds clear of Mick. Beautiful. Now we kick back and we wait. Another yellow, sector three. Van Dorn? Probably. Spin. Perez spinning. Not expected. You see huge regulation changes on that save? Yeah. I. It's really funny. I got like really big technical regulation changes like the first between, after seasons one and two. But the last two thankfully have been relatively minor. Like the one going into next season for this is like just a 30% hit to like chassis. Like certain chassis things. Which like, okay. Oh, Mick, your pace versus Verstappen is just so not good. The good news is... Verstappen has stopped. Oh! Broken front wing! That's a broken front wing on Verstappen! Let's see what happened there. We're just watching the red... Uh oh Oh, the hairpin's too much for you, huh? Thank oh, no yeah, baby. That was a big crash. Yeah, take it easy. Oh, the dream. Verstappen's still there, but it has the box for a new wing. No chance he doesn't. And he's on a set of sauce. What does he go to? A new set of mediums? No change of tires? Let's find out. 
a different set of softs. A different set of softs. His last ones were at 77. His new ones are. Oh, he's oh he's in the mud. 88. Okay. He came out on technically better tires, but he has a long, long way to go in this one. Oh, what a dream. What an ass. Leclerc is 11 seconds behind Mick, who's four seconds behind Pierre. Oh, the dream. This is... All right, Sean, we need to have a talk. British left at the beginning of this race. And now look at this. It's not a coincidence. I refuse to believe it's a coincidence. Like, you can't make this up. Like, you really can't. Like, it's not, it's just not coincidence. Oh, incidents. I can spell. It's just not. It can't be a coincidence anymore. It just it, re it just can't be. It's not a coincidence that as soon as British leaves, we're fine. And Verstappen's the one in the mud. Like this is not. This is not. It's it's too real. It's too real. It's 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 just, that's just it. It's just it's too real. It's just facts. I mean, at this point, we're, I mean, we're just waiting at this point. I mean, actually, we're actually, we're just waiting. I mean, we're a very clear one, two here. Where are you? You're too far. Yeah, you're too far. You're fine. You're on 70% sauce. You're fine. This is horrific. This is terrible for us. Please enter the box. Who binned it? Botas. Oh, you absolute fool. Valtteri, you're in the mud. Oh, so many people diving into the pits. Leclerc, not in the box. We've had a car run wide. Fuck on in the mud. Okay, energy's good. Grab it. Alright. Uh, I was kind of really hoping that we'd be able to take advantage of that gap a little bit more. And now we have this. A safety car. And only a handful of laps to make up ground. I hope that wasn't a mistake. I really don't. Yeah, we are aware. We're gonna be fine. Safety car is in this lap. We'll hop on board with Mick, trying to make sure that we can get by Lando here. Yup. Beautiful. Is 
That's a new race position for Haas. Beautiful stuff. A new fastest lap for Pierre. Beautiful. Oh, we're just gonna we're just gonna fast forward. Relax, Pierre. Running wide there. Relax, Pierre. DRS is enabled. DRS is enabled. Save fuel. Drop it. Reviving. We have a laps remaining. We have a laps remaining. Pierre is gone. We don't have to worry about Pierre. We only need to worry about Mick overtaking Leclerc at the end of this lap. And that's all that matters. He has a 20% tire advantage over Leclerc, unless he just wants to go around the outside of Spoon, which would be fascinating to watch, by the way. Oh, Mick, really? Really, really? Sure, go for it. Mick doesn't want it down the straight with DRS when the Claire does not have DRS. Switch back down the inside. That sounds like someone's gone wild. And Dorn in the mud. Flying, flying currently, currently flying. Oh, he's so far back. <laughs> yeah, we need to be flying. If we, yeah, like, okay, yeah, he's gone. Beautiful stuff, Mick. Let's go. You know, I don't know if we were going to get that lucky on mediums versus everyone else. So I'm glad we dove in when we did. We're gone. This will be last lap. Last lap, Copy. Pierre Gasly for another one, two finish for Haas effectively sealing the constructors championship for the haas f1 team haas f1 have won their first f1 constructors and drivers titles in the year of our lord 2025 let's go after singapore this is exactly what we needed we needed a dominant one two finish for Haas. For Haas, Verstappen outside the points. Leclerc beans his opportunity for a P2. That is a Haas 1 2 finish in Japan. Whoa. Let's go. Whoa. Whoa is right there. Whoa is right. First over the line. First over the line. Constructors champions. Let's go. What an amazing finish to a thrilling race. It's a real testament to their skill and the team's engineering. Beautiful stuff, Pierre. Nice checker flag. Yeah, that was great. Thank you. Oh, brilliant. So good. Take all the pick up and away. So good. performance from the oh we, we've heard we haven't heard that for a handful of races for a couple of races but we've definitely heard it a lot this season beautiful stuff pierre take us home Imagine pierre take us home a podium is a real feat and it's been a, a real feat from the french man sealing his world drivers championship Sealing the Constructors' Championship for Haas F1 team. 
this is what we've been building for was in sublime form today fully now we've done it podium finish here the confetti will fall in the united states tonight beautiful stuff a lovely occasion as we see all three drivers clearly relishing their moment let's go who would have thought season one a very successful day at the races winning a constructor's title not i look at that we're not doubling up mick yet but we are 68 points ahead of mick pierre gasly is your 2025 formula one world drivers champions and the haas f1 team is your 2025 constructors world champions oh been waiting so long to say it 600k out 4.3 in the pocket what a dominant race it suzuka we needed this one and the rest of the way is gravy as we make our way towards the dynasty that is going to be the haas f1 team